Welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of September 2nd. I'm Katherine Haleko, and I'm here with Nicole Eredix. Hi there. And Terry Morrow. Hello. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today is Thursday, which means it's time to give into our obsessing about parenting details big and small. This week, all those big and small things we do <laughs> that make our kids' lives easier. <sighs> and guess what? Do they even know that they're happening? <laughs> <laughs> do no. we get thanks? No. So, mm. Nicole, you this was um, – you had – felt like you did a lot to make your daughter's life easier when she moved into her dorm room. Yeah. I mean, she has um, probably more needs than most in terms of staying organized because that's a skill that she needs a lot of support with. (laughs) Uh um, So I spent a lot of time online, like researching, you know, different storage solutions, um, cubes versus um you know underbed storage versus overhead storage versus like all kinds of different you know like command hooks and um i don't know clips and it's just been endless and i'm not sure she understands how much effort went into that because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> i was trying to help her create a dorm room that she could work efficiently in and Mm -hmm. and kind of stay organized in and um and I know that's not you know okay I took over in that sense and I really shouldn't have (laughs) but if I had left it to her (laughs) you know I needed to model what um set her up for success that's what you were doing (laughs) set her up for success but yeah so when we when we were unpacking (laughs) when we're unpacking you know and I'm pulling out all this stuff my husband's like what the heck <laughs> does she what really is this for? he couldn't believe it did you bring a label maker oh gosh I didn't <laughs> I never even thought about that uh oh how will she ever know where things are now I know D- just get one That's... print everything print all the labels and mail them to her in an envelope <laughs> <laughs> and then say you expect to see the labeled things on social media. Right. <laughs> well, I just kind of thought that might be a little bit like overkill. I mean, like, I she could just, I did get a lot of the see through IKEA storage baskets. Uh-huh. <laughs> but storage, yeah. storage baskets are so seductive, aren't they? Mm-hmm. You start mm-hmm. looking at them and you just need all of them everywhere yes. I know and they look so pretty too they do. Yeah, so many. and they matched her duvet cover <laughs> they're irresistible I know I, was I love related. the idea of storage and organization I am super into buying things for storage or and organization the actual storing and organizing is my weak point yeah that's right, right. <laughs> how about you guys what do you guys do for your kids behind the scenes well oh, things like buy um gift cards so that they'll have money for <laughs> gas and to grab food or whatever uh, um what a good idea yeah and so that they don't that. need a credit card yeah i mean they have they have debit cards actually for just emergencies but you know for fundraising for our oh. figure skating club one of the big things is script where you can buy a you buy a gift card for face yeah. for face value, and then you get money back to your club. Right. Good idea. Um, Can you like go online and find out where that gift card has been spent and trace their movements that way? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, you can do that with one of those like prepaid Visa cards. So I was just wondering about gift cards. No, this is like I buy it for you know the gas com- the gas station that we yeah. use or whatever, oh, but you nice. can't tell like which of the many quick trips that, that is a weakness we've been to but yeah so i do that i do things like um you know just putting things in place like again organization storage like 
putting things where they will be seen or where they will be found when they're needed. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That kind Having of Having it set out and laid out for them. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Just, I don't know. I, I feel like there there's so many things that I do with probably without even thinking. That's um, right. That. This has all been reminding me about when my son started college. Uh, he had at that time a cell phone, but it was one of the, the I was like a flip phone. Mm-hmm. And I had this idea that I was going to enter all his classes in there and set an alarm so that he would know all by himself when it was time to get up and go to class. Because I was, I would drive him there and I would stay all day at the community college and then drive him home and we would be hanging out in the cafeteria. But I thought, you know what? He should have his own alarm. I shouldn't have to be telling him. So I programmed everything in that stupid flip phone with that. You know, you have to hit the number a certain amount of times yeah. to get a letter. That is yeah. the reason my son got a got a iPhone. Like, <laughs> I did one semester of that, and I'm like, forget this. Because it wasn't to make his <laughs> right. life easier. It was to make your life easier. It was easier. to make my life easier. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but I used to, you know, in terms of, you know, he never appreciated that particularly. I don't know how much he even paid any attention to it, but it was important to me. And I would you know, all through school, but even in college, I would, you know, put the names of his classes on his folders. I would buy his folders. I would buy his notebooks. I would put the names of his classes on them. I would put his name. I would get everything all completely, right. um, you know, put together. No, thank you. You know, they would soon be, you would still forget them or not know which was which. Or, right. I was so careful. I would put labels on things. I would, you know, everything, every textbook was, um, you know, put in his backpack on the right day. You know, I did all of that stuff. I don't know right. if he could have done it himself, but he certainly never had to. <laughs> it's like, let me do that for you, honey. You just focus on learning things and I will completely facilitate every other thing. I will select your classes on the computer. I will buy your textbooks. I will do all of this. And, uh, you know, yeah, I was, I was the, uh, the administrative assistant throughout his college right. years. This was my job. <laughs> and, I, and honestly, you know, all through school, pretty much. But yeah. uh, the putting the things in the backpack the night before was always a thing that I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just would have checklists. I would used to make checklists, you know, and lay them out on yes. the table and put the <laughs> vitamins beside it. <laughs> like, Oh my gosh. My son was pretty good. I still have to send him reminders, but yeah. Yeah. She was very, she needed a lot of support. (laughs) So, well, I mean, that's, that's a legit thing for moms to do. I think my, you know, since my kids both have disabilities, I probably take it a little too far. You know, I just want to take all of that stuff off their plate because it's frustrating. And my daughter, as she's gotten older, has taken over more and more of that. And I really appreciate that. And I really think that's great and support her doing it and try not to nitpick that she's not doing it right. the way I would do it, uh, even though it's hard. Um, but my son is like, oh, fine, cool. Right. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> I'm just going to yeah. through my life. You take care of everything, will you? Um, yes. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of okay with that also. <laughs> You've given me a purpose to live. Yes, thank you. <laughs> but I recently, I mean, his his room was sort of like something out of hoarders. So we recently did a, a cleanup and he got rid of a bunch of old stuff. And I bought, because this is what you do in these circumstances, lots and lots of storage bins. Right. It's yep. an opportunity to buy storage bins. Yes. I know. Yes. We'll put Those everything in these storage, storage bins. bins, honey, and then you'll still have it. And you can see it through the clear plastic of the storage bin, but it'll be up off the floor. And he's, like, been extremely slow to take up the, you know, the challenge of filling said bins. <laughs> I got him a whole bunch of small ones because he has, like, these drawers and drawers full of keys. He collects keys. And I thought, I know, we'll get little storage bins and you can put some keys in each storage bin and you can sort them and then you can see them and then you can play with them. It'll be great. And he said, oh yeah, sure. They're empty. So, (laughs) and the drawer is still full of keys. So it's like, well, it's at least out of sight. The stuff that was on the floor is in bins or gone. You know, I, I have to accept partial success. Right. Yeah, but every time I walk in his room and see those empty bins, I want to fill them up so much. <laughs> and I got little, I got little carabiners that he could hang individual keys on, and I put them all over his bookshelves. 
uh, and they are empty mostly. And, you know, if I get a storage item and do not fill it, it's because I'm busy and I have stuff to do and, you know, priorities. When I buy things for him and he doesn't use them, what's the matter? Right. Well, Why aren't gifts, you doing ma'am. it? Do it now. <laughs> you can't possibly have anything more important than filling these up for me. <laughs> and the family pathology gets passed down from generation <laughs> to generation. Of Except, he, you know, he bothers me when I don't fill stuff up. I still don't fill it up, but it bothers me. Doesn't bother right. Me. No, it's not going to bother him. This is the essential difference. We all have things that we probably need to be doing for our kids right now that they will not appreciate. <laughs> so we probably should say that's it for today's round four. They don't appreciate that we podcast either. No. Today. Hmm. no. That, we, that talk we talk about, about them, them. And, and, you know, expose them to the wider yeah. world. Yeah. Tune in tomorrow when we'll share our roundabout roundup of things we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out. Find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. 